Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be speaking about Slanesh. Slanesh in 40k because there has been a rumor pick from the Warhammer community team and people are going wild. So let's jump in and let's investigate this image. So this is the image right now popping up on the screen and as you can see it is like a claw kind of crab Slaneshi arm kind of thing. It's definitely, I would say, Slaneshi. I don't think it's Tyranid. I think it's got too many spikes and yeah, I, yeah, I definitely don't think it's Tyranid because some people said, oh yeah, it, it looks like a Nidclaw, but I don't think it's a Nidclaw. I definitely think it's connected to Slaanesh. Now, the question is, is it going to be a uh, Age of uh, Sigma Slaanesh because they've had a huge release lately and they're very going to be much pushing the second edition soon, or is it going to be 40 K Slanesh. Now, I personally think this may be Demons of Slanesh, which could be used for both games. I think business-wise, if GW make, like, Demons of Slanesh, they could use it for Age of Sigma and 40k, so they could basically sell it in both games and earn double the profits uh, when they sell the models. Now, a lot of people are saying that it's from the new Roll Trader box set, but as you can see from this image here, which basically was leaked and GW put out their own fancy trailer for it. We actually got a high definition image now. I can't really place the claw anywhere on that image at all. So I definitely don't think it's connected to this Rogue Trader stuff. And plus that Rogue Trader stuff is more Nurgle than Slanesh in my opinion. Now, as I stated at the start of the video, I think it's Demons of Slanesh. And the reason why I think that is that if we take a look at this model right here now on the screen, which is a Herald of Slanesh, we see that it's got a crab kind of claw, just like the rumored one. Obviously the rumored one looks a bit more updated, but of course GW, if they're going to be bringing out new models are going to update date the range this model is quite old i think it's like what five six years old now probably probably a bit older than that i'm sorry i don't really know my um my history with uh Slaneshi models who would have thought loyalist um but yeah if i had to go somewhere i would definitely think this is a herald of Slaanesh model just the claw is just more or less like a one for one reference but again like i said just updated now the thing is if this is a herald of Slaanesh, that means it is confirmed we're getting new Slaanesha Demons, which again goes back to the point, Demons can work in both Age of Sigma and they can work in 40k. But the big thing attached to that is if that Slaanesha is coming out in 40k, then does that mean the Prince, the Prince of Slaanesha, Fulgrim himself, is going to be returning to 40k? I know, I know, it's one of those videos, Primarch returning back to 40k, Valrak involved, who would have thought, this is new, but anyway, I definitely think that Fulgrim is going to be returning to 40k at some point, and if the Demons of Slaanesh do come out, I think it all points into the one direction, the only Primarch which could return is Fulgrim in that scenario, because he basically is the prince of Slaanesh. He, he loves it. He's a basically a beautiful butterfly going around in a snake body, killing everyone. And it's actually hinted at in the Gathering Storm books, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a little extract, which is all like been erased from the Inquisition and stuff, saying like this huge snake body going around on a planet, killing all, I think it was like all the Astra Militarum's going around like chopping all the heads off, ripping them apart and stuff like that. And they basically couldn't stop it. So they really hinted at the Primarch being out there, being out in the galaxy, killing stuff. We just haven't seen him in the present storyline so far with Gilliman or the rest of his brothers. Now, don't forget, the great thing about this scenario, if Fulgrim did return, is that Rebooty is a loyalist Primarch. And don't forget who put Rebooty in stasis. It was Fulgrim himself. So maybe it could lead to storylines like Rebooty seeking vengeance against Fulgrim. Maybe they'll have like a showdown, a, a re-duel or something. If you haven't read the duel between Fulgrim and Rebooty and the reason why Rebooty got put into stasis then go and read dark imperium i think it's by guy haley if i'm not mistaken fantastic book really goes into detail of their duel i was, I was actually very surprised that they actually put it in that book and didn't like leave it to you know like the scouring series or something like that if they eventually come to do that really really awesome awesome fight scene between the two primarchs story aside of course this is going to be a massive release if it happens by the way if it happens let's make that point clear there i am sure you should be watching this video with tons of salt at this moment in time. But if this does release and we do get Demons of Slaanesh, does that mean stuff like um, brand new plastic? Mo well, obviously it's gonna be brand new plastic models, but um, a full brand new range of uh, demon stuff. Um, I'm not sure about uh, Slaanesh Marines, but maybe they'll get like upgrade packs or something like that. Think think like the Nurgle release, like when Nurgle like got their, their kind of release, but think that Slaanesh wise, I think they can do that for the full range of 40K. 
as well as meeting the game standards for AOS as well, with like releasing demon side, so you can, uh, you know, you, you can re release like a box set of demons, which can be used in um, Age of Sigma for whatever Slaneshi forces come with them, and you can release like a, a demon box set for uh, the 40k stuff, so you can take them, like, you know, like, just like pox walkers and stuff like that. I think it would really, really, really work out, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree that Slaanesh definitely needs some love in 40k. I can't remember the last time Slanesh got any love, Gigada, in um, 40k at all. It's just, yeah, I think it's been so long. And every kind of video I do, there's always one chap on there who's always saying, Valrak, have you heard anything about rumors about Slanesh? We definitely need something for Slanesh. Well, here it is. This is your rumor for Slanesh. Maybe this is the time now for you to take a deep breath, start saving some cash, because it looks like, it, again, it looks like, I'm not. this is not confirmed, it looks like, Slanesh may be on the horizon for you chaps. Now, the only problem I see with this whole release, if it does happen, again, I need to make that point because people take this like the word of the Emperor. If it does happen, then the only problem is Reboot is going to be heavily outmatched because we definitely need another Loyalist Primark. I'm hoping, I, I'm personally hoping that Lehman Russ comes back and um, the way it's looking, again, take this with as much salt as possible. It may be around Christmas time. Winter has come and Lehman Russ is coming. Um, but if it doesn't happen and we get Fulgrim back before another Loyalist Primark, again, it's three versus one. It, you've got Mortarian, you've got Magnus, and then you've got Fulgrim. Even with the vast amounts of plot armor that Reboot has got, there is no way he can stand against three traitor primax free demon prince traitor primax there's no way he can stand against that the imperium will just absolutely be ravaged by chaos and you know all the followers of of those uh demonic primax so i definitely think a loyalist primax should come back first and you know he can uh, lend some hand and of course if it is lehman rust then him and reboot are gonna get on fine um i've always stated i would love the line to come back because i think it'd make a, a far better story with him being so socially awkward but if lehman rust does come back and it is again it kind of is looking that way if if you're on the radar uh, for Primark like me, um, then I definitely think Lehman Russ will come back around Christmas. Right, that is me done for another video. If you want to go and check out the rumor pick for yourself, there's a link in the description of this video, like always. Tell me what you think. Are you a Slaneshi fan? Are you a demonic Slaneshi fan? Are you a Fulgrim fan? Let me know what you think in the comments section, and yeah, we can have a nice little healthy discussion about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and have a great day. See you now, and bye-bye.